rolling me down the highway, rolling me down the highway, moving ahead to life won't pass me by. Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here in the uh, truck today. I've been working on ALF yesterday and I have some very, very sad and bad news to report to you guys. I've been getting a squeal when I first start ALF up here the last two or three weeks. And I'm thinking it might be the antifreeze uh, water pump. It might be any number of things. But uh, I made a video last night and put it on the uh, Bergman forums. So I'll, it's a real short video, so I'll put this video in right here. Hello, everybody. Smyrna Cowboy here. This is for people that uh, have been working on Bergman's for a while. I don't know what's wrong with Alf. Uh, I've changed. I just got through changing the... Uh, Transmission fluid, transmission uh, stuff, it's giving me a squeal. I don't know if you can hear it or not, I'll point the camera down there, maybe you can hear it. If any of you brain trust out there could have any idea what this could be, please let me know. Uh, my last resort is taking it to a stealer ship, and I do mean stealer ship, to see uh, what they can do, but I'm going to let you listen to it. Sounds like it's coming from the clutch, but I've had the clutch uh, redone last uh, summer, so I don't know what it could be. I'm letting it warm up and checking the engine oil to see. Well, it looks like the oil's fine. It's between full and low. I may put a little shot of oil in it just to be on the safe side. But if anybody out there has any kind of suggestions or anything I should would appreciate it. So I got the uh, answers, some comments from a lot of the Bergman people there and what uh, I had the exact same answer five times in a row from different people and what they're telling me it is a, uh, C a CVT primary pulley bearing failure and it's going to cascade into a catastrophic CVT failure. All this in plain English, uh, they're going to have to tear the uh, CVT down and rebuild it. So we're talking anywhere from a thousand to sixteen hundred dollars for repairs and uh, that just tea totally sucks so me and my buddy of mine we're gonna uh, take out uh, Wednesday to Sloan's and he's gonna bring his trailer by here we're just gonna put it on the trailer and uh, we're gonna take it down to Sloan's and uh, let them have it and uh, see what they can do with it. I may have caught it in time for them just to replace that bearing on the uh, CVT uh, shaft. I may have caught it in time. But if the splines are chewed up on the shaft itself, then it's, well, everything's gonna have to be replaced. So hopefully, it'll just be uh, Hopefully it'll just be the bearing that's going out, and uh, they'll be able to uh, replace that and be like under a thousand dollars. But if uh, if it's not, it's going to be about sixteen hundred dollars worth. So if that it, it just clicked over about thirty-one thousand miles, if that is the case, I'm going to go ahead and get it fixed regardless. Uh, whether it's a thousand or sixteen hundred dollars but if that's the case I will go ahead and uh, ride it uh, 
probably next, you know, all of next year. And come September of next year, I'm going to be looking at trading, trading in. I like the new uh, 2013 uh, Bergmans. Uh, they look sharp. They they did uh, they put analog gauges on it. The uh, parking brake is on the side. Um, if I can pull them from the net, I'll put some pictures right here. So if you're interested, you can look at them. Or maybe do a link for a uh, technical walk around of the bike. But I put so much money and so much time into customizing Alf the way I want it to. It's really a, a crying shame to, uh, to get another one. Because I've had this bike since 2007. No, 2006. I'm sorry, 2006. But, you know, she's been a good one. I can't complain too awful much. So that's pretty much it for right now, guys. Just to let you know what's happening. So this is a Smarter Cowboy coming home from party this morning. Today is the 28th of uh, 28th of October. I wish your buddy a uh, happy Halloween a couple of days early. Wishing you and yours a good day. Well, until next time, if there'll be a next time, as far as vlogging on the bike, Adios.